we've tried it your way. Israel's tried it your way for decades, and they got October 7th. So that way doesn't work because you cannot do business with savages. And that's what Hamas is. Not, I'm not talking about Gazans. I'm not talking about Arabs. Hamas is savages, and they need to be exterminated because it's, if you don't exterminate them, it's going to happen again. So you're saying the, the two-party solution? Was that when you said the, the vision I'm looking for? Is that like a two-party solution? No, is that when you say- Like the um, two-state solution. Two-state solution. No, not the I mean, two-state state state solution, solution, but the idea that, oh, we got to back off or, or do a ceasefire or, or worrying about, or what you said about worrying about it creating hate. That's the, Israel has tr- done everything. They removed themselves from Gaza in 2005. They gave the Gazans incredible land that they could have turned into another Miami. That was part of the plan. That was part of like the Jared Kushner right. concept. And what did they do? So they tried to do what you're suggesting and what they got was October 7th. But they, if they were given the opportunity to build a great city, but then they were under a blockade, like walled in and under a... A blockade? They got billions of dollars. I mean, compared to them, they, they, the, the Gazans per capita get more money than Americans do, more money than any other any other aid people in the world. But they were being blockaded? I don't know exactly what was being blockaded, but they were able to build it, build an awful lot of stuff there, including incredible tunnels. And why, I mean, If they, they can build a tunnel, why can't they build a resort? Hamas posted the video of turning water pipes into rockets. Yeah, they did. Right. Whether they actually right. were, were doing that or it was propaganda, that was their propaganda, where I mean, they were like, look like at these water pipes they gave do us. In that situation, you know, you have no money, you're being, if you feel like you're being annihilated, you just use your basic but weapons, you know, whatever. No one, no one was annihilated. No one's in there. No one's bothering them. If, 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 if Gaza and Hamas disarm tomorrow, there would be peace. If Israel disarmed tomorrow, Gaza would exterminate them within two weeks. What if everybody was armed? I'm seeing that the UN spent 600 million on Gaza in 2020. What, how in, much 600 million? 600 million in, just is, in 2020 alone and has given, gave 4.5 billion between 2014 and 2020. I've, I've asked a lot of people about- And that's just the UN. The, uh, like what would happen and- you know, usually when I ask, like, what what would happen if, you know, like Hamas surrendered and they'd be like, the war's over. And I'd be like, and then what? Like, yeah, and, and Gaza goes on as it is. Right. And I'm like, with the walls and everything, like, yeah, of course. And then whatever, they can do whatever they want. And then I said, okay, what would happen if Israel said, we're tearing the walls down, Palestinians have free reign to move in, in and around Israel, you're now all welcome. And I've never gotten a straight answer because I think even the people who are who are critical of Israel or even, as I would call it, Israel deranged, understand what happens if Israel takes the walls down and says, all of Gaza, please feel free to, you get October 7th. Yeah, if, well, if you- there were a lot of, a lot of the, like, I remember the October 7th, there were a lot of the um, workers who had passes to work in Israel were among those who were committing the atrocities on that day. So they had, you know, already had access to Israel and they were coming in to do that. It's kind of crazy. 